day fellow personalization specialist. This is Lori Champagne with another quick tip. Today, as you can see, I'm engraving bottle openers and they're pretty hefty in size, as you can see by my hand here. We're putting a logo on them. Before this video started, I calculated what would be best as far as placement and DPI. I came up with 300 DPI at 90 speed and 90 power. Now you'll notice that I've got a tray here that I am using to transfer them. And I'm doing this because they can scratch on one another and I don't want to keep putting things down and picking things up. Pushing everything into the corner. Okay. And setting the machine going. Now I'll take my tray and put it over here We'll take these over with the others that have been done previously. The material I'm going to spray on them is called Blue, B-L-U. If you Google Blue in powder coating, you will find it. It's a wonderful chemical, and if you spray it on, it removes powder coating and paint residue. So I'm just going to spray it on, and then I'm going to just spread it out with my toothbrush. Then I'm going to come back and do a little scrubbing back and forth just to get off all the haze that is on it. You can see that haze just going away. Now I can remove the residue that's left with my little rag and spray it next with just plain old water. and then dry them off. Generally speaking, I have two hands available and I am able to dry them off using both hands, which is a whole lot better. Once they're dried off, they get put into the final box and the way I keep track of the box number is I put a number on the paper in between of how much is below that piece of paper. So there's 66, we just added six more. So now I've got 72 done. And I will add the others to it. That's it. Good luck in your production orders. It's a good idea to always just evaluate how you are moving and if there's anything that can be shortened up to make things better. Thank you very much, have a good day and never stop creating.